what is this? A tiny nether portal that you can't fit through? <laughs> uh, believe it or not, this is an ender porter, but in the nether. As you know, you can't build ender porters in the nether because you can't put water in the nether. So I get around this by putting it on the other side of another portal and toss an ender pearl through, capture it on the other side, and throw it back when needed. And that allows us to travel distances in the nether as well as the overworld. But, even better, eight times the distance that you do in the overworld. So if you're limited in your world by chunk loading distance and you've got your ender porters closer together than you'd like them, Simply put a portal to the nether, build this. It's not too big. I mean, the nether's a big place. You can probably fit it somewhere. And put your other one as far out as you can possibly go while still loading chunks, and pop back into the overworld, and you'll have traveled eight times what you could accomplish in the overworld. So we'll demonstrate it here. I'm going to hit this button. We've got a blue block behind us to show which station is which. And there's our red block. We've just traveled quite a ways. And then we put the pearl back, and this guy's ready to go. It's all loaded back up. And we can go off and do our red station business. And then when we want to go back to the blue station, hit that button. And we are back at the blue station. And then to load it back up again, you just walk up, toss a pearl through, and you're done. That's it. So how does it work? There's not a lot to it. A portal, a tube with targeting block, There's this does nothing. There's no uh, redstone in here. This is just to give you something to aim at so that you're lined up properly with the overworld porter, uh, portal uh, stasis chamber. And then we have a triggering mechanism, which is done by sending a minecart through the portal to activate an activator rail. So when you're way over there at the red station and you press that button, it kicks a minecart through this portal into the overworld, hitting this activator rail, pressing, activating this redstone down here that runs all the way up here, and a launcher sends the pearl back through the portal the way it came. And then the minecart gets broken by a cactus and sent back through. And that's it. That's the whole design. It's pretty simple. Uh, not simple to, des to design, <laughs> but uh, now that it's done, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, this guy lines you up so that you don't walk too far forward. Left and right orientation, not very important, but uh, as long as you're looking at that target block, that is. But this guy keeps you from walking too far forward. And then because the pearl, as it comes back through the portal, oftentimes hits this trap door, it does drop uh, briefly to allow the pearl to pass through and then pops back up you can get a glimpse of if you watch here. There you, you can see the trapdoor pop back up. Just put the pearl back and this thing's good to go. Uh, one note on that, uh, when an ender pearl goes through here it, it has a 15 second cooldown before it can come back through the portal. So if you spam stations, like if we go to the gold farm and then come right back here and then try to go right back again. If that pearl hasn't been in there for 15 seconds, it'll fail. So, uh, something to keep in mind, but I doubt you would ever run into that because uh, you're more than likely either going from station to station or you've come here for a reason to do something that'll probably take longer than 15 seconds. So, I don't see it being an issue. So, anyway, that's that. Pretty simple design, works really well. It's 100% reliable. I've never, now that it's done, I've never had it fail. Um, the only real variance I see in it is, if you can, you might see it here. Uh, right here we landed pretty close to the trap door. And uh, because in the overworld the pearl is bobbing up and down before it gets hit by the launcher, there's kind of a range for where you'll land. Um, I think right about here is as far back as I land, and right up here, exactly where you would want to be, is the closest, and it just kind of varies. It'll, uh, it's different each time. So here we landed really far away. That's about as far away as you can land. 
And if we do it again, ah, perfect. That's pretty close. Um, right here is about as close as, I, as I've ever landed, but it's always kind of within this range, which is adequate in my view. Can't remember if we reloaded it. Uh, reloading it twice does nothing. There's, it's not a problem. Two pearls will come through. In fact, we can just throw a couple of them in there to see what happens. So I'll go to the Enderman farm, reload it, and we'll make sure 15 seconds has gone by. Da -da 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 -da. I put this shroud on it just to make it look like something. <laughs> I don't have a building to put it in because this is a creative world, but uh, I just built this uh, wall thing here just so it kind of looks like it's part of a structure. All right, so we'll go back to the gold farm. And we hopped around a bit because there were several pearls, but no issues. All of them came through just fine. And that's that. I'll put a world download in the description, and I uh, hope you like it.